The minority in parliament says there's no justification for the continuous closure of the country's land borders. Ghana's land borders have been closed since March 2020 at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic in the country and has remained shut since then. There have been several protests in some border towns in the western and Volta regions demanding the reopening of the borders. The indigents in these towns say the border closure has made it impossible for them to trade effectively, depriving them of their source of livelihood. But minority leader Herna Jusu says the borders must be open now. One and the first will be our call on President Nana Adudankwa Akufuado, the President of the Republic of Ghana, supported by his Minister for Health and Minister for Interior, to take urgent practical steps for the reopening of Ghana's land borders to allow for free flow of persons and goods across ECOWAS and the rest of the world. Post-COVID, we are not out of the woods yet, but we want to see a return to normalcy with the movement of goods and services through our borders. And therefore, whatever proactive measures government needs to take, there can be no justification for the continuous closure of Ghana's land borders. Therefore, as a minority, our primary concern this afternoon is to call on the president as chair of ECOWAS to do that which is needful to give meaning to the resolutions he so chaired for ECOWAS to pass. To our